So I'm just going to go over how to unlock all the blacksmithing enhancements that are given from this NPC. So first of all, we're going to go over the weapon quests and let's start off with the forge weapon enhancement. To be able to even unlock this quest, you're going to need rank 3 blacksmithing rep, level 30 and completion of the Mobius quest line. You can get rank 3 by watching my video on how to get the uh, blacksmithing rep. And then to get these items, for the first one, you're just going to need to kill a Sherion a bunch of times until he drops his helm. Second one, kill a uh, Chaos Lord Vart a bunch of times until he drops his helm. Then kill Chaos Lord Kitsune, or however you pronounce it. Then after that, you want to kill Chaos Lord Wolfwing, and each of them should give you a helm or a mask. Once you complete the quest, you can then go on Enhancements, Weapon Enhancements, and unlock the Forge Enhancement. Now to unlock the Lacerate quest, you're going to need to complete Mazumi's quest line, be rank 4 in blacksmithing, and be level 40. To, click Mizumi, to complete Mizumi's quest line, you want to click on map, uh, Green Guard West. Click on this little map again, click on Mizumi, and here you click quests. And you should do all three of her quests, and then you should be able to start the quest for Lacerate. So to complete this quest, first we're going to go to Slash Join River. And here we go to the end of the map until we see the boss. So you just kill Kuro until he drops his bleed. And after that you want to go to Slash Join Green Guard West. Click on the map again, Black Knight. And you do his quest to get the... Um, Black Knight Orb. You can get a Black Knight Orb by going to slash join well and killing this monster and going to slash join Death Gazer and killing this monster and going to slash join Trunk and killing this monster and going to slash join Green Dragon. And you can then turn in the quest for the Black Knight Orb. Next you go to slash join Graveyard and here you kill Big Jack Sprat until he drops his Undead Plague Spear. This actually takes a while, so you're going to be here for a bit. And then you go to slash join uh, War Orc. You accept uh, Rubina's quest for Massive Orc Cleaver. Then you kill the Orc Master until he drops what you need. Surprisingly, this actually takes quite a while, so we'll be here for a minute. And next you want to go to slash join Green Guard East. So here you want to click on this map, click on Tomfoolery, and accept his quest for Landing Swords. So you just go walk around the area and go on the swords and you should collect them. Next one you go to uh, Green Guard West, click on Insomniac Beauty, click on her quest Warm Milk. And when you complete it you should get the Forest Axe. After doing that you should be able to unlock the enhancements for Lacerate. Next we're going to unlock the quest Smite. To unlock Smite you're going to need rank 6 blacksmithing level 60 and completion of the Sepulcher Saga to begin the quest. To do Sepulch Saga, you click on here, click on Adventures, and you want to click on Sepulch Saga. You basically do all of this, and you should be able to unlock a quest. Now, completing the quest is pretty straightforward. It tells you all the areas in the quest. The only one that might be a little difficult is the Alchemy Academy one, again, 10 Power Tonics. Go to slash join Alchemy Academy, and here you want to click on Buy Potions, click on Fehu Merge, and click Power Tonics here. And after doing that quest, you should have unlocked the enhancement for Smite. Next we're going to un unlock Hero's Valiance. So to unlock Valiance, you're going to need rank 10 blacksmithing, which I made a video on, level 100, and completion of the Lord of Order quest to begin the quest. So to complete Lord of Order, you want to go to slash join battle off. Over here you click on this NPC, click on Lord of Order quests, and you complete pretty much all these quests. The only issue is these are dailies, so this will take you at least 10 days to complete. They're pretty self-explanatory as they do have the maps in the quest. Now you also have to acquire these items which are pretty self-explanatory like going to these maps and getting the following items. Then you also have to go to slash join dark throne hub to get the next two items. So over here you want to click on archpaladin, stop, and you want to buy the archpaladin armor. I think you actually have to go through the quest line of getting archpaladin to buy this. So that's really long and a video to itself which I probably will make soon. Next you want to go to gravelin, quests. The summoning and this is also really long but this is how you get a gravelin's doom fire token and once you do that you should have completed the quest and then you can go to uh, weapon enhancements and unlock um valiance after that you want to go to forge quests weapon quests and do arcana's concerto and this is obviously the hardest one because you're going to need prince darkon's polex darkon's debris 2 and insignia from king drago and darkon and it requires rank 10, obviously level 100, and completion of the Stravia Saga to begin the quest. So to the Stravia Saga, click on um, Adventures, Darkon's Elegy, and basically do this entire thing, all of this. And once you've done that, you want to do the Ultra Boss uh, for Drago and Darkon, and that should give you the Prince Darkon's Polax and Darkon's Debris to re reconstructed. Next, we'll look at the Cape Quests, starting off with Forge Cape Enhancement. So to unlock this quest, you're going to need rank 3 Blacksmithing, level 30, 
on completion of the Yokai quest line to start the quest. You can find Yokai in the world map, and to get the following items, you just need to kill a Sheridan until you get his staff, kill Vath until you get his Dragon Lord Axe, kill kill Kitsune for his blade, and then kill uh, Wolfwing for his weapon. And next for Absolution, to unlock this quest, you're going to need rank 9 blacksmithing and level 90. You want to go to slash join the rift. And so from here, you walk forward and you go to this NPC. Big shop. And you can get Ascended Paladin by getting 100 slime sigils. And you can get the slime sigils by killing the monsters around the area, the one specifically the plague spreaders. They have a small chance of dropping the slime sigils, so it's going to be here for a while. After that, you should have completed the Absolution quest, then we can do Vainglory. To unlock Vainglory, you're going to need rank 9 and level 90. And you're also going to need to complete the quest before this, the Absolution quest. To unlock all these relics, you're going to need to complete the Armor of War quest, which you can get from Slash Drone Museum. Speaking of Slash Drone Museum, did you know now you can get an item that can give you all the ore enhancements that you get from here, or as an item in your house? So you just want to go to uh, Artifact Quest, Blade of War, Crossroads. Here you want to click on Valencia, click on um, All Quests, and I've already done the quest, but if you haven't, it'll appear over here. You want to accept it and go to slash join banished. Now over here, if you've done the storyline, you can go to the boss. If not, just check the room and slash go to the, someone. I've already done the storyline, so I can just walk there normally. So I'm going to go there now. And so over here is the boss, so you have to kill him a bunch of times until he drops the item for the quest. But when it's done, it's definitely worth it, because then you can finally get the item that gives you all the enhancements in your own house. Once you turn in the quest, you then want to go home. And you go over here. And you click edit house. Click wall item. And your wall or plaque should be right over here. And once you click it, all this in your own house. And if you want to see a guide on it, I've already made one link in the description on how to get the Blade of War and how to use all these enhancements. And finally, the quest for Avarice. To unlock this, you're going to need to rank 9 and level 90, and you're going to want to complete the quest before this. Go to slash join 7 circles. Here you're going to need to complete kill the following bosses and get 25 souls of Limbo for 1 indulgence. And here you want to merge Penance by getting 15 souls of Heresy and 1 Essence of Wrath, Violence and Treachery. You can get these by clicking on this quest here, Treachery, uh, and violence and so on. And after completing Avarice, you can go to Enhancements, Cape Enhancements, and unlock Avarice Enhancement before your cape. Now some of these quest items I didn't go into that much detail for, because some of these like a video to itself, like explaining how to get Arch Paladin, explaining how to get the Armor of War, and so on. But I will try and make some of these videos in the future, but not soon. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't already.